Hello guys, this is Sade and thank you for coming back to my channel for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how we as agents um, go about making bookings and um, what does that look like on how to make the booking, how to read for um, published versus bulk air, and also how to look at the commission that you may be um, acquiring during this transaction. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be using an example from Vax Vacation Access, which is a travel agent portal and home to Apple Vacations. Today's video, we're just going to go over what I feel is a very basic um, package, which is going to include round trip flights from Baltimore, um, five night stay in a Cancun all inclusive resort for two adults. It's also going to include your transfers round trip from the Cancun airport to the hotel. So um, what I'm looking at first is that I want to make sure that I have my right departure city airport for Baltimore. It is BWI. Going into Cancun, we are going to be looking at CUN. Um, you can see that here, CUN is the airport code for Cancun. And the type of package we're looking at is hotel package plus Carib Mexico Caribbean is the language um, within Apple Vacations. I'm choosing a date that's further out so that we can look at the difference in um, doing a deposit down on your, your payment. So I'm looking at May 4th through May 9th, which is near Mother's Day weekend of next year. Um, so it may be a popular time of year to travel. And we will take a look. So once we click the search button, we will wait for our options to populate in. And here we go. We are off to a good start. We noticed that the best rate package um, that we're looking at is coming in at $14.03.52. However, we don't see any flights right here, and that's because the flights haven't been populated into this package. So let's start with the outbound flights. Outbound means leaving your home destination, going towards the new destination. So this would be our Baltimore into Punta Cana flights. I mean, Cancun flights, not Punta Cana. The first thing that you can see here that I particularly notice is I look at my options of the fare type. This is where we will see publish and bulk. This is also where you will find the information for basic economy versus economy. This is economy full refundable. Um, and then you also have like first class or business if it's available um, from that vendor. I know for certain that in this um, example, I want to show you bulk pricing. Bulk pricing basically means that you're going to be allowed to put down a smaller deposit and pay over time versus having to pay for 100% of your, your flights up front or 100% of your total package up front as well. The next thing that we're going to look at are your departure and arrival times and your layover. This isn't a, a bad flight. This one is leaving Baltimore at 7 a.m. Um, it gets into, where is the layover? ORD, which is Chicago, at 8, 10 in the morning. It has an hour and 19 minutes um, for a layover before departing at 9, 29, and then getting into Cancun at 1, 15 p.m. So your layover is just an hour and 19 minutes. So let's grab that. All right. The next thing now that we're going to notice is that because we pulled some United flights, it's automatically giving us um, flights on the return. This flight on the return has a bit of a long layover. Um, as we can see, you're getting into Chicago. I mean, sorry, not Chicago. You're getting into Houston at 12.38 p.m., but you don't leave Houston until 6.25. So this would be a flight that I would click on the return flight 
and like to switch out and see um, what we can do about that. So this is a five hour and 47 minute layover. That's six hours, it's huge. Okay, the next one for best rate is gonna give you about two hour layover. That's good in terms of getting around the airport um, because you're gonna be coming from an international destination. You gotta go through customs. So you need a buffer time. Um, some people are probably gonna to wanna to go down here for the hour and 47 minutes, but it's really not that much difference in time. However, we can see that the two hour and nine minutes is 1261 and the one hour and 46 minutes is 1351. So there's a difference there. So let's stick with the bulk fare using the two hour and nine minutes layover. Now we also gonna notice in the next step that in our hotels section, that it is automatically populating for us the hotel with the best rate, which is going to be the now Emerald Cancun by AMR Collection. Not really a bad um, option, but let's dive in a little bit deeper so that you can see what features we're looking at when we are reviewing um, our options. So here on the left-hand side, we're gonna see our list of hotels to search from. You can search by hotel name. If you know the name of your hotel and you wanna put it in there, if you know what your budget is or you kinda of wanna scale by budget, you can adjust the budget here. You can also um, select ratings. So these red apples and gold apples, it's just like saying if you want a four star, a five star, or a luxury or a special partner. Um, the gold stars are for partner, preferred partners um, within the Apple Leisure Group. The next thing that you're gonna be able to check out also is the hotel amenities. So if you need something that is an accessible facility, you definitely wanna um, check that first one. So we're talking um, wheelchair access, rooms that are accessible, elevators um, in the buildings. This is something to really consider on top of if you are looking for children amenities, um, internet, all-inclusive, pools, restaurants. Um, you can um, definitely filter by these filters, but uh, normally if you come down here to the experience and you select all-inclusives, um, all inclusives is normally already going to have the free breakfast, the fitness center, the high speed internet, free parking. But who's really driving there? Most people are catching the airport transfers. Um, they definitely have a pool. They'll definitely have a restaurant and room service may be available for free or um, an extra fee after say 11 or 12. So we kind of already know that that's going to be included in the in the all-inclusives. So we'll, we'll stick to those parameters and we'll come back up here. We notice that now that we've kind of shifted things a little bit, um, we still have now and breathless that are kind of going in and out um, at the top of our bar. So let's click on now resorts so that we can look at the hotel overview. So now that the, po um, that the photos have populated, we can see some Pretty nice um, photos. These photos are what you can use um, to drag and drop into your quoting um, system or your quoting your quoting um, app. I like to use Travify. Um, sometimes I'll use Canva as well. Um, but these will drag and drop pretty nicely um, into your itinerary builder. The next thing that we're gonna look at are, is this, where it says hotel details. When we click more, we'll be able to see a short little paragraph, sometimes it's longer, um, about the overview of the hotel. The next thing we wanna look at are the hotel advisories. As we can see, it says this hotel does not accept student groups and spring breakers. So keep that in mind if you are booking for someone 21 and under um, for the most part, especially if they're going on a class trip or it is spring break and they're in college. This is also letting you know that there is a local tax. 
um, with a minimum of thirty dollar or thirty Mexican pesos, which is only a dollar sixty. Um, most of this is already built into the price, or they will let you know at check in. Um, but for the most part, it's usually built into the price. Then right here, it says individual student and youth travelers will be required to pay a one-time resort fee of 30 bucks per person, um, payable directly to the hotel at check-in. So this looks like um, the fee that they're charging for smaller kids. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. Let's check out the hotel policies. We see that it does require a credit card or debit card authorization or cash deposit for check-in. So that's definitely something you're going to want to let your clients know. Um, individuals attending a convention cannot book this property for their stay. So keep that in mind as well. Of course, we're being hit again with that spring break policy. And then that there are transfer policies. The price may be displayed when children stay free if your vacation includes transfer to your hotel. So just kind of keep that in mind that if you're booking this on a promotion for your clients with children, um, that the transfers still have to be paid for even if there is a BOGO deal for the children. So the next thing we're going to look at are the room costs. When we look at the per stay rate here, we notice that this says $0. That means that this particular room type is already included in our overall price that's currently being displayed. Should we wanna upgrade to anything additional, this is where we would see the additional funds to upgrade. So if we're going from the garden view, double or king, and now we wanna look at the double sunset lagoon view, double, it's going to be an additional $141.85. For the sake of this video, we are going to stick with what we have um, in the Deluxe Garden King view. Great. So now we have our flights. We have our hotel with our selected room in the Deluxe Garden view. We do not need rental cars, but if someone was in, you know, persistent about renting a car for the area, you can add that to your package here. Right now, we also see that there is transportation to and from your hotel with a complimentary upgrade to shared nonstop service. So that's already built into our packaging. But should you want to switch, say, to private transfers, you want to include some excursions or travel protection, there are different add-ons for their travel protection or the non-stop transport to and from your hotel. For two adults, we're looking at $42. Um, private transfers, we're looking at an upgrade of $53 per adult, I mean, well, per vehicle. So that's really not that bad. Um, the deluxe option would be like a suburban style and um, give you up to four people. So it kind of goes up from there. These are all different um, packages and party samplers and um, things that the AMR collection offers. If you're doing a getaway um, or some type of pool party, things like that, or an excursion voucher, you can also add excursion vouchers and different amounts um, for your clients here. But for the sake of this, we are going to keep at our room, our flights and our transfers. Our package is pretty much complete. But the first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna come over here to booking administration as this is where it's gonna show you what the commission is that you could expect from this booking. So the total cost of this booking is $2,664.54. That means that your commission breakdown is $182. Um, you do not earn commission on flights. You only earn commission on the land portion. So this is where you would find that information. You can increase it by a percentage or by a dollar value. Now, every agency is different, every agent is different, and that will they add um, commission to that? That is possible. 
Personally, looking at the 182, um, I feel like that's pretty low for this, but at the same time, it is a now property. We are looking at just two people going um, for five nights, but um, $182 is pretty standard in terms of we're looking at 10% of the total room and transfers um, that you'll be getting. So scrolling up a little bit more, we see that we have 197 days until departure. So that's great. Your base package price is $14.74.44. That breaks it down to $737.22 per adult. We have added some options. The options that we added is actually the flights. There is a current discount of the save now and it's taking off $70.92. That leaves you with a total package of $2,664.54 or the grand total of $1,332.27 per person. When we're looking at this and we get ready to look at the overview of everything, we wanna see the email and print itinerary. When working with Vaxification and any of their listed vendors, they do offer you the opportunity to email from their system um, to, your, to your client. So you can enter in their email address here and the reply email address would be yours. And then you can give them a subject line as well in terms of what this um, quote is about and then you can also give some instructions, but this is basically the body of the email. For me, if I was going to do this, I would say, you know, thank you, Jane. Um, it says, thank you for taking your time to price Apple Vacations Getaway with Travelholics. This email is to notify you of the items you have selected when working with Saudi Pimentel. Um, from Travelholics, all prices are listed our list may be subject to change until payment is received. So this is good, but you definitely want to kind of put your personality here. So I would say, hello, Jane. Thank you for speaking with me about your Cancun vacation plans. I have a resort option for your review, right? Please let me let me know if you have any questions. Now, in addition to this, oops. in addition to this, what I would do is I would also include the travel dates. I'm going to just make up some dates, so please bear with me. May 12, The deposit amount and the final payment. Payment. Final payment. Due. Due date. So when I'm looking at this and I'm, I want to know the deposit information, we're going to scroll down a little bit. And we can see that the deposit that's due on October 22nd, so that's just a few days from now, is $500 or 250 per person. It's very important that when you put this in here, I like to give a per person rate because it helps if someone is traveling, you know, two sisters, two friends, two brothers, um, or if they just need to know a per person rate. But more importantly, I also like to add here that it is non-refundable. Even if you buy insurance, most insurances will not refund you your actual deposit. They'll refund you everything else. Some will refund the deposit, but until your client um, selects um, travel insurance, 
you need to make sure that they understand that the travel insurance is, I mean, the travel deposit is non-refundable. The other thing that we're going to look at down here is says the full payment is due on March 20th. Um, it is best practice that you have the final due date, maybe five days or a little more before the date listed here, just in case your client needs a little bit more time. Um, you want to give them some cushions so that their, their trip is not canceled on them. So I will put March 20th, 2023 here. And I will delete that. And then I would just say thank you. So that is what I would send to Jane um, for her to review this option, keeping in mind that we're kind of recapping what's all included here. There is a complimentary upgrade to nonstop transfers. They'll also get $200 in resort coupons to enhance their stay. Now you can mention that sometimes these resort coupons do come with catches um, and the catches usually they have to sit for a timeshare presentation. Um, sometimes they call them a breakfast, they call them a welcome, um, conversation. They call them all kinds of things, but at the end of the day, it's a timeshare presentation, um, which will take at least an hour of their time for them to get a $200 resort credit that's probably broken up into some money for the spa, some money for the bar or an excursion. So we want to keep that in mind. You can scroll down and kind of recap what Jane is going to see in terms of her flights. Um, also, what she's going to look at um, in terms of transportations and additional inclusions. And then the summary she will see here. So she knows that this is her hotel base rate. This is the flight addition. So these will be itemized for her. Um, and then her grand total. So, and then it has a little thank you here. And that would be sent off. And that is it to creating a booking with Apple Vacations or the Apple Leisure Group through Vax Vacation Access. Thank you for watching.